from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. A few weeks ago, local defense company BAE Systems Land Systems South Africa demonstrated the latest versions of two gun turrets developed by its Dynamics division. Keith Campbell was there. The two turrets concerned are improved versions of the self-defense remotely operated weapon and the tactical remote turret. The business development manager of the Dynamics division, Harry van der Merwe, gives us the details. First of all, the SDRO, it's an acronym for Self-Defense Remotely Operated Weapon System, was actually launched two years ago at AAD down in Cape Town. Since then, we um, advanced the system by adding infrared capability, meaning you can also see by night, operate the weapon by night. We also add 360 degrees for travers. It means it can go all around, not only limited to 270 degrees for travers. So it's not quite a new turret as we have it here, although we are um, demonstrating also other capabilities that is able to not only support 762 but also 12.7 and 20 by 42. That was demonstrated at AAD um, and also um, we have incorporated weapons like the PKM, which is a Russian type of 762 by 54 that has been demonstrated to clients already. So it's not a quite new turret as it stands now, but um, we have incorporated some advanced features. The one on the other side, which is called TRT, that's a tactical remote turret. We are launching this version now um, and it's incorporating a 30mm cannon, a 762 coaxial machine gun and also anti-tank missiles. Previously we had a B-25 that was fitted with a 25mm M242, it's a native standard cannon, but we found that customers also want a bigger cannon like a 30mm and also want um, anti-tank missiles incorporated into the same um, platform with the coaxial machine gun which is a 762. So this was the first public launch of the TRT-30. Um, and there's about 80% commonality between the TRT-30 and the previously TRT B25. Van der Merwe explains which markets the latest versions of the turrets are aimed at. Well, first of all, if you look at the tactical remote technology, it is, as the name says, it's a remote controlled system. So the operator is situated anywhere inside the vehicle. There's no intrusion into the vehicle by the turret. That gives you the ability to mount it basically on any type of vehicle capable of, um, of handling the weight of the turret and the ammunition that's fitted inside the turret. So if you look at the typical um, asymmetric warfare that they experience in the world, you need to look at multi-mission, multi-role type of applications. So our focus will be with the system to address markets that wants one product that can fulfill different type of roles on different type of vehicles or maybe the same vehicle that fulfill different roles. So it's uh, one fits all, it's not always that simple but um, that's the aim. Other news making headlines this week, Gauteng e-tolls may be implemented before year end. Prasa bidder Dudula Rail aims to start local manufacturing in 2017 and Transnet awards its locomotive tender to a Chinese-led group. Cabinet has decided that the South African National Roads Agency Limited should proceed with the implementation of the electronic tolling system on Gauteng's upgraded highways, which could go live before year end. Following a recommendation of the Interministerial Committee on the Gauteng Freeway Improvement Project, led by the Deputy uh, President Khalima Mutlante, Cabinet at its meeting on Wednesday, the 24th October 2012, decided that the South African National Roads Agency Limited, SENRA, should proceed with the implementation of the e-tolling system. Today, the Department of Transport gazetted the toll tariffs and regulations for public comment that will apply to users of the toll road network in Gauteng. Dudula Rail, a consortium comprising Stadler Rail from Switzerland, ABB South Africa and Naledi Rail Engineering, would start manufacturing passenger trains in South Africa by 2017, if it were selected preferred bidder for the Passenger Rail Agency of South Africa's 20-year rolling stock renewal program. The train would be a very modern train, so the actual technology that we will transfer from uh, Switzerland 
We have planned a, a greenfield, so a factory, and the employment of many people. Obviously, that we need uh, um, a lot of training to bring the people uh, up to the um, speed uh, that we expect. Local content uh, rules uh, ask for at least 65%. Uh, we will exceed that for sure, but we are prepared and committed to the socio-economic objectives. State-owned logistics group Transnet has awarded the tender for the supply of 95 electric locomotives to a consortium comprising Chinese manufacturer China South Rail, Zuzu Electric Locomotive and local Black Economic Empowerment Consortium Matsetse Basadi. We are here today to announce the procurement of 95 electric locomotives from China South Rail, Zuzu Electric Locomotive and Matsetse Basadi. This tender required the suppliers to meet a, minim a minimum of a 60% localization threshold in order to qualify. This marks a significant increase on the previous levels of localization in the production of electrical locomotives. And this is in line with the new growth path and social compact agreement on local procurement. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.